Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is a curtain favorites and a little update video. So um, I have three products here that are drugstore products that um, I definitely recommend because I, I normally don't um, do curtain favorites videos because I never, I think I just have such high expectations that I just don't um, make videos on like curtain favorites just because I don't like everything. But um, so these three things are just amazing. So um, I definitely recommend them, and they're all drugstore products, so you can go out to your local, to your local um, CVS and uh, Walgreens or Target and buy them. So um, before I start, I just want to do a couple updates. Um, I'm doing a closet sale every week, or I'm trying to do one every week. Um, so that's the fir first link down below. <clears throat> I can't really talk right now. And then um, I'm also doing playlists on my blog because um, I've been listening to a lot of other people's playlists, like my friend Catherine Boy's playlist. She taught me how to make a playlist too, so um, that's the second link down below to her Tumblr where you can find her playlist. And um, uh, my ex coworker from a couple years back, William, he makes the most amazing playlists on his blog, and that's what inspired me to start making playlists as well. My sister is leaving right now so you can hear her car it's kind of crazy but anyways um yeah so you could actually go and download the actual playlist and like listen to it and put it on your ipod da -da -da. so i don't have to go out and send out um cds and stuff but uh yeah just a lot of people have been asking me f to make uh or to talk about my favorite music and all that stuff and i i feel like that's too hard because it changes so much um uh, i mean like I DJ with a couple of friends of mine and like a lot of DJs say, oh, I have a very eclectic taste. When they describe their own music, they always go, oh yeah, I have a very eclectic taste. I like everything. Well, the thing is, I hate most things. I can't stand a lot of things, but I'll give everything at least a try. Um, so yeah, so my playlists are going to be kind of like uh, here and there. It's not going to be very cohesive, but um I, I made one for the White Stripes, my favorite White Stripes songs, and then I made one for like a 90s mix, so yeah, check it out. That's all. <laughs> and then, um, so moving on to my current favorites. Three things. Okay, so I started using this foundation from NARS, it's called the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Sorry, my phone. Um, NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. The thing is, it's so expensive, it's like $40, so I found some reviews online saying that, um, the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid, liquid, liquid Makeup, um, this one right here, is the exact same thing. It's, it's a great dupe for it. So, um, thing is, this one has SPF 20, this one doesn't. So, um, I tried this one out. Whenever I wear this, for some reason, even though after I, even after I set it and everything, for some reason, at the end of the day, it always looks kind of like patchy or it doesn't look even but this one it stays consistent all day um, the only thing is that uh, it has SPF in it so um, it's not a good nighttime foundation so I'm just gonna start using this for a daytime and this one for whenever I go out at night um, great foundations though this is around ten dollars this is around forty dollars same finish but this one lasts all day for me I think it's just my skin type, so I actually like this one a little bit better than this one. I wouldn't repurchase this one if I ran out, so yeah. So that's the first thing, the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Look and Makeup. Oh yeah, my skin color is, um, or my match is natural beige. It matches perfectly. I really like it. And then thing number two is this lipstick. Um, I did a video or a makeup bag video and this was in it but this is uh the color burst revlon color burst lipstick number 65 rosy nude and i really like this color because it's just a very natural um my lips but better color i don't know i just really like it it doesn't have a scent i've used so much of it i use it like it's a chapstick because it's so moisturizing but i definitely recommend it seven dollars at your local target and then um so normally whenever I go shopping for facial cleansers, I always generally just grab the same one over and over again or like a different variation of the same one. I've been using Neutrogena for quite a while 
um, the pomegranate one, and before that I, I was using the orange one. I forget their names, but um, I, don't, I don't know. It's just easy to, because it's something that I use every day, so it's easy to just walk it down the aisle of like a million facial cleansers and grab the one that you always use and then walk away. It's been mediocre. I mean, I'll use it and then whenever I cleanse or whenever I tone my face, I'll still see makeup on my cotton pad, but I just thought, whatever, that's how it works or whatever. So um, my sister asked me to try her Cetaphil one because she swears by it. So I, I tried it, thought it was decent. Same situation happened with the, uh, the toner and everything. So then I... Um, I was walking down the aisle of Target like a few days ago knowing that I have to buy a new cleanser and I know that the one that I'm using is just mediocre and so I you know I just I, I, I was just so lost like reading every single bottle and everything just like okay what's which one's the best which one's the best and all that stuff and then I decided to go on my phone look at reviews and I saw this one right here it's so gimmicky. Okay, so it's L'Oreal Paris Skin Expertise Go 360 Clean Deep Facial Cleanser. And it's so gimmicky to me because it has this um, this little scrublet thing. It's silicone scrublet with like little dots on it so you can scrub away at your face. And I just thought there's no way. It's going to harbor bacteria. It's going to be so disgusting. But the thing is, <laughs> my roommate uses it. My roommate uses the orange bottle. And um, there's like four different types. But I, I was just like, well, I mean, if my roommate uses it and then it should be all right, right? So I grabbed one and I didn't, I only watched one review or like the beginning of one review and the person liked it. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, I don't even know this person, but I trust them. So I grabbed, I grabbed the bottle, it's only $5. Went home, used it and wow, it's amazing. I love it. It's, um, it's this thing right here. It's the scrublet thing. It's just, um, it's just perfect. You just, I definitely recommend washing it before you start using it because, I mean, the way it's displayed, it's like, it's literally like this. So people will walk by and just like touch it, you know? So yeah, definitely um, wash it before you use it. But it's only $5 and I think the whole thing is the scrublet thing because I use it on other cleansers as well and it works great. And you can literally see, um, you can literally see the makeup coming off and the oil coming off of, <laughs> the makeup and the oil coming off of, um, your, hey, the makeup and the oil coming off of your, um, this pad and then like rinsing it off and everything. Usually whenever I wash my face, I just don't, I don't see that much coming off, but it's crazy gnarly. Yes. Gnarly. That's the only word I can use to describe this. It's crazy gnarly because it's you. Uh, you see everything. You see dead skin cells. You see everything. Well, not the actual cells, but you see d dead skin flakes and just everything. Eyeshadow and like, yeah. And it's I don't know. I love it. So I definitely recommend it. So yeah. Thanks for watching this really long video. I will um, get back to you guys later. Bye.